Hey guys. Hi. So today we're making Valentine's Day treats. And by treats we mean, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna try our hand, you know we don't bake. So we don't even have to preface this video with this. But we're gonna try to make a cake. Um, we're cake going, pops. Yes, we're gonna try to do cake pops. Um, and muffins. Oh yes, and muffins. And waffles. Maybe. Well, I don't yeah. know what we'll do to waffles, yeah, but we may save that. So, is there anything else we said we're going to do? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, cake pops, a cake, and muffins. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, anyway, so, you know Valentine's Day is coming up, and Jillian is a huge fan of Valentine's Day. Me? I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's all right. I don't get into it, I guess, the way some people get into it. But because she is such a huge fan of the day, we're going to definitely make the day special. And so we're going to get this kitchen and <laughs> whip up some stuff and see what happens. So let's get this party started. So guys, I have to admit, I'm a little, <laughs> a little bit embarrassed when I got the mix out and I started reading the back. And it was saying how you can use either a mixer or a whisk. Now, I do have a whisk, um, but my mixer, I think my mom may have bought me this mixer. <laughs> it is not a KitchenAid. It's a Sunbeam, and it was back off in the back of the cabinet. So needless to say, Jillian and I have decided we're going to go get us one of those really cute KitchenAid <laughs> mixers because... We can't be pulling this out if we're gonna do videos showing us like baking something. So we're gonna bake the cake first and we're gonna use this super moist French vanilla cake mix. And we're actually gonna use this bunt pan. Is it a bunt pan? Whatever it is, it's a bunt pan. Mold? I don't know. But we're gonna use this. <laughs> We've gotten all the ingredients placed into the mixing bowl. Jillian is gonna do the honors, only because I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so, yeah. is this heart-shaped pan from uh, it was you probably saw the video because it was actually Pete's birthday weekend when we went out and we went to TJ Maxx and we saw that and we were like gotta get it for this yep. video so yeah so we're gonna make the cupcakes in here mm -hmm. and then recently I bought love um, a spatula. It's not a spatula. Wow. Well, spread, it is a spatula. Yeah, to spread the frosting on top. And then we have heart-shaped cookie cutters. Because, oh, that's just one cutter. Oh, yeah, one cutter. But two hearts. Two hearts. Two hearts that beat yeah. as one. Okay. So we're going to make strawberry cookies. Cupcakes. 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 We're making strawberry cupcakes. So that should tell you we don't bake. Not enough anyway. But we are going to do cookies. I forgot to mention that earlier. We yeah. are going to do cookies. So here we go. 
All right, so. Double heart picky cutter. Yeah. <laughs> so wish us luck, guys. for cake pops. So we have our leftover batter from our cupcakes and we decided to use it for the cake pops. And what's cute, that's our- uh, That's our cookies. Our and cookies. I'm gonna slide over there yeah. while she finishes that. <laughs> so I, what I found cute was that the batter is pink and the cake pop machine is pink. It's supposed to be lightly coated with a small amount of vegetable oil. Okay, so it's 625, so 628 at least. Okay, so, so far, I can honestly say, oh, yeah, I did burn. we don't, we don't, we don't like this. It's very messy. Yes, yes. yes. So, we may move on yep. to trying to decorate the cake. So we 
finished decorating the cake and mom decorated these lovely cupcakes. Yeah, you can kind of tell their hearts. Yeah, and Noah added the, the cute little, little hearts. Yeah, the candy top. hearts on top. Well, but look at, wait a minute, I have to say, Jill, this is our first time ever frosting a cake and a bunt cake at that. So is it a bunt pan or a bunt mold? What is it? We don't know, but let us know in the comments. But you see, we actually did a pretty good job, don't you guys think? <laughs> it looks prettier in person. Yeah, it does look prettier in person. I guess on camera it doesn't look all that great. I just, I still can't give the, the cake pops. <laughs> really? But anyway. But this is since you can't see the cupcake. Oh yeah. This is what they look like. This yeah. is what the back looks like, and then the front. So these were the cookies we did from the cookie cutters. I don't want to drop it because these were probably the best ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to decorate these and we're going to put them, show them the little bags. We're going to do little treat bags um, for our friends for Valentine's Day. We were so hoping the cake pops, you know, how many bites does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> Whatever we don't show in this video, will show in the vlog on Sunday. So you guys will still get to see like the wrap up. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And please share us with everyone. Everyone, comment down below. Please. If you love our cake, oh if you gosh. loved how we decorated it, if you feel sorry for us because of how the cake pops turned out. Oh, just a just mess. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and subscribe. Oh, totally subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> oh, yes. I I love it when you can ask Jillian. <laughs> when I see that it's going up like, oh, it was like at 110, and then it was like 112. I celebrate everything. So thank you so much and thank give you. me so much more to celebrate because I celebrate every one of you guys that hit that subscribe button. I do. Thank you so much for it. We appreciate it so much. So we're gonna go so we can finish. So, as always, make, make it powerful. powerful. Oh, <laughs> I'm delirious. Okay, let's try that one more time. So, as always, <laughs> make it powerful and make it amazing. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Uh, my job. Thank mm -hmm. you.